Stanley Milgram was a high school classmate in the Bronx in James Monroe High School, and he asked two very dangerous questions. Would you electrocute a stranger if Hitler asked you to? One, could the Holocaust happen again in America? He's a little Jewish kid, and he was seriously concerned about that, even in high school. And so he began to do this research in 1963 at Yale. And before, before we quickly go through his research, many of you know about it, but I think you don't know about it the way I'm going to present it. Why did he do this research? And especially given that we are in the Jewish center here, I think it's really critical, because the research is clearly labeled as one of the most unethical of all until I did my Stanford prison study. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, then, and then I took that mantle away from him. But listen, listen to the moral reason he did that study. When I learn of incidents such as the massacre of millions of men, women, and children perpetrated by the Nazis in World War II, how is it possible, I ask myself, that ordinary people who are courteous and decent in everyday life can act callously, inhumanely, without any limitations of conscience? Now, there are some studies in my discipline, social psychology, that seem to provide a clue to this question. I the problem I wanted to study was a little different, it went a little bit further. It was the issue of authority. Under what conditions would a person obey authority who commanded actions that went against conscience? So he studied a thousand ordinary citizens, 500 in, in, in New Haven, 500 in Bridgeport, Connecticut, mostly men, but he did, he did study women, and women behaved no different than men. It's the most representative study in psychology. It's a thousand ordinary people, ages 20 to 50, no students involved, just ordinary people. In fact, the ad he puts in the paper says, we want laborers, barbers, clerks, telephone workers. Made it clear, we want ordinary people. And when you get there, you're told he's interested in, this, in improving people's memory. So all evil begins with the ideology of something good, like our evil in, in Iraq and wherever we are is nat we're protecting national security. That's the, same, that's the same ideology that Hitler used, that dictators everywhere use. So one of you is going to be the learner, one of you is going to be the teacher. The teacher is actually the real subject. The learner is a confederate. Uh, and so, and you have the experiment in the lab coat who's going to give the, the orders. And every time he makes a mistake, you have to press a button that gives an electric shock. And you start at 15 volts. All evil begins with 15 volts. He doesn't even feel it. You press a button, nothing happens. But that's, you're now on the path, the slippery slope, because it, it increases, 15, 30, 45. And suddenly, the guy starts screaming and yelling and wants to quit. And again, it's uh, random pain. And down when you get here, it says danger, severe shock, uh, extreme shock, triple X. Would anyone go to 450 volts? Well, Milgram asked 40 psychiatrists to make their estimate. They said only 1%, because that's sadistic behavior, and only sadists would do that. That's the dispositional orientation in practice. Was it 1%? No. It was 65%, two of three of a thousand people went all the way to the end. The guy is screaming, yelling, I have a heart condition, I, I quit, I don't want to go on. And, and you dissent. That makes you feel good, but you don't quit, you don't disobey. Uh, in fact, no one drops out to 285 volts. Uh, and so, this was one study, but I said Milgram ran a thousand subjects. There's actually 16 different experiments, and each one he varies one aspect of the social situation. In study 16, 91% go all the way. Study 16, you first see somebody like you go all the way. Nine out of 10 of you go all the way. In study five, you see people like you rebel. 90% of the time, you rebel. So that says we are powerful social models. We model goodness, as we're promoting here, and it, it's infectious. You model, you model evil, and it's also similarly infectious. It provides a model for good or bad behavior.